Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. For today's video, I selected for you six AI website builders currently available on the market. I will show you how each of them works and what you can expect from them. Let's get into it. If you don't know what AI website builders are, let me explain it to you real quick. These website builders use the power of AI to generate a website based on your input. It could be a website description, a prompt, or a quiz about your website. To be completely honest with you, it all depends on the tool. But the general premise is that you get a functioning, ready-to-publish website generated by AI. For the sake of this video, I will ask each website builder to generate a website for my floral business, Botanica. I want a lively website with a pastel color palette. I also decided that my business offers bouquet making workshops and courses in addition to typical floral services. Okay, now that we established this, let's see what the world of AI website builders has to offer. Our first contender on the list is Webwave. Webwave is a drag and drop website builder known for its freeform canvas and graphic design tools inspired interface. But let's see how it works in the AI department. So after you click the AI website button, you write a brief description of what you want your website to be like. Then you just click generate. As you wait for the website builder to generate your website, you have a real life preview of the process. It's engaging and fun to watch. Once the website is ready, you can edit it in a website builder. As you can see, Webway generated the layout, images, and even copy. It added elements like Google Map or contact form, as well as the frequently asked questions section. It's a very user-friendly and easy to navigate website. As you can see, the content is relevant to the prompt I wrote at the beginning, which is super nice. However, if you want to rewrite something, you can use the help of WebWeb AI Writer. If you don't like something or want to change it, you can easily do it. You are not just limited to replacing the images. You can completely rearrange the layout by utilizing the drag and drop interface of WebWeb. Next up, we have Framer. Similar to WebWave, once you click Framer AI, you type in your website description and then just watch how the magic happens. The process of generating the layout is nicely animated and entertains you as you wait for the final result. Once you have it, you can regenerate the entire project or singular sections or elements if you don't like the results. Framer also offers various color palettes that you can switch between to find the one that you like the most. With Framer's AI website, it's not easy to change the layout of your design. You can change the alignments, but you can just freely reposition elements. Overall, you get a stylish website with many decorative elements. Framer also followed the description that I gave it um, and managed to write a relevant content. It's much appreciated. Now moving on to Hocus. The main difference from previous tools is your input. If you use Hocus instead of writing a site description, you answer some questions about your website. You set the category of your website and business, the services that you offer, your main talking points, and finally, pick one of the free website proposals that you get at the end based on your input. You keep working on your project by switching up color palettes and fonts. After that, your website is generated. This first part of creating a website with Hocus reminds me of the initial conversation that you might have with a designer, in this case, AI designer. You're briefing them on what you want to create and then return for the results. However, unlike in the traditional process, you don't have to wait weeks or months for the results, but just minutes. Once the project is done, you can still keep working on it by polishing the text, adding new sections and basically making the website feel like you. Now let's talk about Durable. You start off by choosing the type of business you run and its location. You just enter the business name and hit generate. 
your website is done really quickly, but it's also not very broad. However, you can easily extend it by adding new sections if you aim for more detail and comprehensive design. You can just pick the contact form from the components library of the Durable and it will create it for you. Each section can also be regenerated in terms of content, style or both. If you want to change the overall theme of the website, you can also do this. Just click the right tab and pick one of the pre-made options you like the most. Even if Durable doesn't offer that many customization options, everything is very intuitive. Coming in at number 5 is Hostinger. At first, once you open it, you get a pop-up with three questions about your business name, website type, and website description. You answer them and click Create a website. Similar to Hocus, Hostinger generates for you free templates from which you pick the one you like the most. If you like the layout but are not sure about the style, you can definitely change the color palette and fonts. And here's where the customization options end, if you use a free version of Hostinger. If you want to enter the full editing mode, you have to upgrade to one of Hostinger's Pro plans. And last but not least, we have Pineapple. To create a website, you just need a description, so, so I use the same one as previously. After that, you get to work on your copy with their AI assistant. You add business details and target audience. It helps Pineapple to generate more accurate copy. Then you move on to the design. You decide on the colors and general theme of your website. Once you decide on all of that, your website is generated and you get to enter the full edit mode. There you can add new elements or even sections or rewrite your copy. In no time, your website is ready. And there you have it, our top six AI website builders. Each of these tools brings something unique to the table, so be sure to explore each of them to find out which one suits your needs best. If you plan to use any of these website builders or you've already done that, please share your experiences with us in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you stay updated with our latest videos. Thank you so much for joining me today and see you in the next video. Bye!